how do we find the inverse of a function? Now, from the previous video, we already know that these two functions are inverses of each other. So we already know that g of x is the inverse of f of x, and f of x is the inverse of g of x. But what if we don't know that information, and we are asked to find the inverse of f of x? And we are, also, we are also asked to find the inverse of g of x. What is the procedure? What is the process? Okay, so here's how. So let's start with f of x. Let's say, let's find the inverse. Okay, so find the inverse of f of x. So the first thing that you'll do is you will rewrite the equation. Instead of writing f of x, you'll write y. Okay, because f of x equals y. So you'll write, you'll write y equals... 3x minus 2. Okay. The next step, and this is a very important step, is that you interchange the positions of x and y. Okay. So x goes here, y goes there. What do, what do we get? We get x equals 3y minus 2. And then what you'll do is you're going to solve for y. Okay. So you solve for y. Okay, you need to isolate y. Okay, let's do that. So to isolate y, we need to add plus 2 to both sides of the equation to get rid of this negative 2 right here. So this cancels out. What we'll get is x plus 2 equals 3y. And then to get rid of 3, we divide both sides by 3. Right? Cancel 3. What do we get? We get x plus 2 over 3 equals y. Then we can distribute the denominator. So you'll get x over 3 plus 2 over 3 equals y. And that is the inverse of the original function. And as you can see, that that is exactly this function. So that's how you find the inverse of a function. Now let's try g of x equals x over 3 plus 2 thirds. Let's find the inverse of that function. So again, instead of writing g of x, you write y equals x over 3 plus 2 thirds. Again, you interchange the positions of x and y. So what you'll get is you'll have x equals y over 3 plus 2 thirds. Then let's isolate y. But first, we need to get rid of the denominators. So we'll go, we're going to multiply both sides by 3, so we can cancel out the denominators. So here, you have what? You have 3x equals y over 3 times 3, cancels out, you get y. And then 2 thirds times 3 again, that cancels out, you get 2. And then to get rid of plus 2, we need to subtract 2, both sides of the equation. So you'll get 3x minus 2 equals, this cancels out, y. And that is it. That's the inverse of that function. And as you can see, that is exactly f. So that's how you find the inverse of a function. Pretty easy.